Shalom. Before I begin this video, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Rahawa Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continually rule very well to this very day. And our Shalom to the whole elect that is also um, continually given diligence in this work and faith, true, and sincerity to make your calling lecture sure. And also to spread this ministry and this, and this gospel to the other members of the whole elect in all charity. Now, uh, the topic of this video is going to be entitled, <clears throat> What Man or Person Should You Be? Or, however the Spirit allows me to title the video, um, <clears throat> but for now, that's what the title is going to be. But, <clears throat> the main topic in this video is going to be concerning uh, the times that we're in, and um, actually having a realization of what time we're in. You know, because, you know, we're in a time of uh, of a transition. And really, these are exciting times because we're starting to witness in uh, the fall of our enemy. Or should I say enemies, which is uh, the so-called white man, which is true biblical nationality is Esau or Edom. And you're starting to see a shift in power. And uh, the power is, is being given over to uh, our people, starting with the elect of the nation of Israel, in which Israel, the real Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks about, are known today as the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Because the rulership that is coming is going to consist of the Israelites, which once again is the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, in which the head of the nation of Israel is going to be Yahweh Shai, who these people ignorantly call Jesus, in which the true name in, of the uh, the Son of the Heavenly Father in the ancient Hebrew is Yahweh Shai, and the name of the Heavenly Father, his true name is Yahweh. All right. So. The mode that we're in right now is uh, getting the hell up out of here, man. You know, because this place that that we reside in, man, you know, is 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 corroding, is corrupting. And if we stay here any longer, then you know, we're gonna be, you know, basically there's gonna be no flesh be, to be saved, man, because. The thing is that our uh, Lord specifically said himself that uh, when we're in, the, we're in the last days, and since we are in the last days, the times are being shortened. All right, and we're seeing that day by day, you know. The time is, is shortening, you know, the days uh, are not drawn out as it used to be. That's why everything is, is in a big rush right now. That's why. You're seeing everything move forward at a rapid pace because the Lord is ready to destroy this place, America, which is known as Babylon the Great in the scriptures. All right. So the, the, the man of persons that we should be right now is to seek mercy from Yahweh Shai because even us that came into this truth, we've done things before we came into this truth in which we're guilty according to the law. But with Yahweh Shai, when he made a when he um, made himself a sacrifice, he made himself the sacrificial lamb for the sins of Israel. Now we've been given a chance for salvation, and the reason why I say chance is because we're not saved yet. All right, we will not be saved until we set foot in those chariots, in which the chariots are known. The people call them today uh, so-called UFOs. But until then, you know, we are to keep enduring and to keep fighting the daily fight and to hasten the time of our Lord's coming. That's the mode that we're in right now. And that's the, uh, the, the manner of persons that you see that are doing these videos and that are teaching. All right, holding fast to the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So now with that being said, I want to go ahead and jump into the scriptures. Second Peter, the third chapter, 
in the 11th verse it says seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved which the things that are, are to be dissolved are what this uh this kingdom that's set up right now which um the ones that are in rulership is once again edom the nation of edom which is the so-called white man that's being dissolved and guess what ultimately this place america is going to be dissolved physically because when the lord sends the fire on this place america especially his devices which he's going to use to destroy babylon which those devices are was uh today the icbm thermonuclear missiles so when the lord brings down a hammer on babylon which is america and this place is completely dissolved that would be the end of the rulership of the so-called white man which is the devil and the wicked that the bible speaks of all right now it says seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness all right so it's asking what manner of person should we be in all holy conversation all right it didn't say just any conversation but holy conversation and godliness all right and the holy conversation and godliness pertains unto the word all right which that's how we receive the spirit of our lord yahweh shai because yahweh shai told us you know when he was um but right before or well, actually while he was with his disciples and then afterwards he was taken up into the, uh, the chariot he told him to say look he's not going to leave us comfortless but he's going to come to us And but did he come to us physically no he didn't but he came to us spiritually by way of what the, this word we're well, I'm, I'm reading out of right now this is how he has re returned unto us alright and this is how through the spirit and also through the lord's will that we are the hopeful elect we have came back into into uh the good graces of yahweh about shemion shai and the thing is that like i mentioned before we are seeking mercy from yahweh about shemion shai and that's and that's the first step really that's the first step into uh, uh coming back in good graces with yahweh about shemion shai is actually acknowledging your sins all right Acknowledging that, you know, we man, we're nothing, man. All right, we went off. We done. We done things. Uh, horrific, horrific uh, acts. You know, we went off. So there's no way possible that somebody could come up and tell me that they didn't do anything wrong, man. All right. Like the scriptures say, every, we we've all fallen short of the glory. Okay. Now, once again, it says, what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Looking for and hasten to the coming of the Lord. Or it's like a coming into the, of the day of the Most High. When the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So everything that we see right now is going to be dissolved in fire, man. These cars, these buildings, even all the way down to the money. All right. Everything that we see in this life is going to be dissolved and burnt. All right. That's why scripture speak about uh, why would a uh, man gain the whole world and then lose his own soul? Because if, you, if you're wasting your time trying to gain this world and the riches of this world, you're going to end up losing your life. Why is that? Because you're going to you're going to be destroyed right along with with the. Uh, um, I'm talking about the two thirds. They labor it so long for something that's going to dissolve in the future. All right. That's why. That's why there's no understanding in two thirds of our people, Israel. All right. If you go into the book of Deuteronomy, right? And uh, you know what? Uh, let's see if I can get it real quick. But I want to read something else. I see Slocky. Yeah, I could put that on hold. Let me go ahead and get it. book of Deuteronomy the 32nd chapter in the 29th verse it says uh, oh that they were wise that they understood this that they would consider their latter end so it said oh Israel 
will will be wise and consider the latter end. All right, because two thirds of our people are not considering their latter end, man. They're not considering that the things that they do is gonna is gonna be rewarded by destruction. They don't consider that. They consider what's in front of them right now. They want things now. You know, I gotta have this now. You know, because really the generation that's set up right now is a microwave generation. They want things to be instant. And really, they've been bred up to, to uh, act that way because, once again, Esau is in rulership. All right. Case in point, you know, not to uh, I'm just throw out a gold nugget if you can receive it. Now, Esau couldn't wait to, for um, his food to be, even be cooked all the way, man. When Jacob was was uh, um, sawing um making pottage and he was cooking uh, his food Esau didn't even want to wait he said he wanted it now so the same thing is today with Esau being a rulership he made things instant All right, to where you don't have to wait on certain things and that's how two thirds of our people have been groomed up to be they've been groomed up to receive things instantly without being patient and really patience is a blessing from you how about Shemiel Shah today man alright you know, and I'm not going to go too much in, into to the sp uh, specifics of patience because really that's how real men of the Lord dealt back in the ancient world. You know, but like I said, that'll be another topic for another video. But um, like I mentioned in the scripture, it says, look, Israel will consider their latter end. But you got to have wisdom to understand your latter end. All right. Now I want to grab the next precept. This is Micah, the second chapter, the 10th verse it says, Arise ye and depart, but this is not your rest because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sword of destruction. And in this place that it, the Lord is telling us to depart out of is Babylon. Now, that doesn't mean to physically leave Babylon and take, catch a plane ticket and go all the way to uh, Egypt somewhere. All right. It's telling you to depart out of the ways of Babylon. That's what it means by arise and depart, but this is not your rest. All right. In other words, have your mind set to leave in this place and to, uh, to depart out of Babylon when the time comes. All right. Which that's um, we're coming to the, the the new Passover, right? The new Exodus, in which us being delivered out of this land Babylon, man. All right. And you know how it was back during the time of Egypt when we had uh, when it was during the time of the Passover, right? It said uh, basically to eat in haste and to have your sandals on, right? To have your shoes on so you're ready and your staff in your hand so you're ready to go. And that's how we are right now. We have got we got our staffs in our hands. We got our shoes on our feet. We're ready to go, man. All right. Because why? Because like it says in this same uh, same verse, it says because it is polluted, it's corroded, it's corrupted. All right. It shall destroy you even with a sword of destruction. So the ones that are caught up in the ways of Babylon are going to be destroyed. All right. And they're going to be uh, corrupted and polluted right along with it. And only through the words of Yahweh Bashem and through his spirit that we're made clean. All right. To, the, to basically to cleanse us of the pollution of Babylon. All right. Now I want to read one last uh, scripture. I want to close it on out. Now, um. Like you forgive me. This book of uh, Romans, the twelfth chapter, in the uh, first verse, it says, "I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service." So there's no amount of sacrifice, animal sacrifices, that can be done to uh, relinquish us of our sins. The sacrifice of ourselves has to be made in order for us to be able to to, uh, to receive salvation. Why is that? Because the same way uh, Yahweh Shai has sacrificed himself, guess what? We have to do the same thing, but not on the, on the level that Yahweh Shai did it. But we had to give up our previous lives. All right? It's like it. So that's the sacrifice that we to give for Yahweh Bashim Shai for for our sins, man. All right, which is better that way, okay? 
And with that, um, you know, that pretty much hits the, the point. The Lord's will. You members of the Hopefully Elect, we're edified by this video. Until the next time, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Rahawah Kakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule very well. Shalom, peace and safety, salutations to the Hopefully Elect. That's all still plowing in his work. Give it diligence to make your call, let's sure.